Hello and welcome to Parrot's training videos for the Anafi AI. In this video, we'll walk through the different photogrammetry options found in the new FreeFlight 7 application. Let's begin. There are two ways to open a photogrammetry project in FreeFlight 7. The first is from the home page. Here we can create a new project, duplicate an existing project, or delete or open what we already have. We can also see that our projects have been synchronized with the Parrot Cloud by looking in the top right hand corner. Navigating to the HUD will also allow us to open up our mission tab and select photogrammetry. This will bring up the last mission that we have created. Now let's create a new photogrammetry project. Open projects and select new. Navigate to the area where you'd like to create a new project. The first thing you should do is name the project. Naming this project will help us locate it across all of our devices logged into our Paracloud account. Now let's choose what type of mode we'd like to have this mission in. We can choose a simple polygon, a double grid, an orbit mission, or a one-click mission. Let's start with this simple polygon. Now let's tap on the map where we'd like to drop the square. Then we can adjust it as so to gather all the information that we need for the flight. You want to remember to include a little bit more than exactly what you're looking for. Once we have defined the boundary for our project, we have the ability to choose between a number of different grids. We can do a simple grid, a double grid, or an orbit, depending on what sides of the building we're looking to capture. For this project, we'll stick with the double grid. However, we're going to adjust the square just a little bit more so we can ensure that we encapsulate the entire building. Now we will need to confirm our image parameters are set up for the mission. We'll want to make sure our resolution is 48 megapixel, our exposure is where we'd like it, and if we'd like to select the white balance for a sunny or cloudy day. Under flight parameters, we can set the drone to 4G upload photos directly from the aircraft to the PIX40 cloud, turn on or off obstacle avoidance, set the drone to return to home when the mission is complete, set the drone to return to home if for some reason signal is lost. We can modify our altitude, which will directly correlate to the ground sampling distance. The higher the altitude, the higher the GSD. We can change our camera tilt, and finally we can adjust our front and side overlap for our liking. When complete, we'll exit and return to the main flight page. Once you are satisfied with the flight parameters, you can go back to the main screen. Here we'll see an estimated flight time and an estimated total distance the drone will fly. When we are finished, we'll press the done button. That will bring us to our home screen, and the only thing we'll have to do from there is press the play button. Before we fly, let's create a one-click photogrammetry mission. Select the one-click from the modes. Now you'll see that the different buildings will light up. You can select individual buildings. Then input the building height and define it. This will ensure that you fly the proper height of the building. Once you define it, you'll have to answer a few short questions. We've seen these before in the flight parameters option. Once we are finished answering the flight parameter questions, we'll go back to the main menu. Here, we'll look over and make sure that all of our settings are where we'd like them. We can also see an estimated flight time and an estimated flight distance. Once we've confirmed all the settings, we can hit the Done button, and this will save our mission. Before flight, remember to calibrate, update, and ensure your aircraft is functioning properly. Now all we need to do is hit the Play button, and the aircraft will take off and fly the mission autonomously. And if you set it to, return to home at the end of the mission. During the mission, the operator does have a few options. At the bottom, we can see the number of pictures taken for each leg. To the right, we do have a stop button if we need to pause the mission or stop the mission for some reason. We can also take over with manual control if needed. Note that the mission will fly the horizontal pattern first over the building. Once the Anafi AI is finished taking pictures on top of the building, it will move on to the side to take pictures around the building. The aircraft will drop in altitude when it does this. Finally, when the mission is complete, the Anafi AI will return to home. Once the mission is complete, we have the ability to view the execution to see how well the aircraft performed. Here we can review the exact flight path the aircraft flew. We can also see the amount of time the mission took, we can see the battery used, and we can see the distance the aircraft traveled, as well as the various settings we set up before the mission started. Once the mission is complete, it's time to upload the images. You'll notice that with each image, there's a digital certificate. This digital certificate verifies that the Anafi AI took the image at the exact location and time it says that it took the image. 
The certificate is possible due to the wise key secure element found inside of the Anafi AI. This is just one more way that Parrot continues to improve its cybersecurity. If you do not want your pictures to be digitally signed, go to the settings menu, then go to advanced, then select recording. Where it says sign pictures, you can turn this to no. If you are using Pix40 Cloud to process your images, you'll see that verified images only have been used to create your 3D model. You should now have a good understanding of the different photogrammetry projects found in the Free Flight 7 application. In the next video, we'll walk through Touch and Fly. Thanks for tuning in to Parrot's training videos for the Anafi AI.